Welcome to the infection tube. Wonder how our body fends off invaders? Our body has many lines of defense, some are innate and some are adaptive. One of the most crucial innate defense systems is the complement system. What exactly is the complement system? It's an integral part of our innate immune defense system, armed and ready to directly kill pathogens or mark them for destruction. So, how does it operate? The complement system functions through three main pathways. One, the classical pathway. Two, the lectin pathway. And finally, three, the alternative pathway. Despite their different triggers, these pathways converge on a common end game. They lead to the opsonization of pathogens, chemotaxis, which is the mobilization of inflammatory and immune cells, cell destruction via the membrane attack complex, and the enhancement of inflammation. Did you know? In general, bacteria can benefit from weaknesses in the complement system, but one species can benefit from these weaknesses more effectively than the others. Can you guess whom? It's the Neisseria species, which is an extracellular, gram-negative, diplococcus. But why Neisseria? The unique pathogenesis of Neisseria qualifies it to uniquely challenge the immune system, especially when already weakened by complement deficiency. What makes this pathogenesis unique? We can mention two factors. One, complement-mediated lysis predominance and two, unique surface structures. What does this mean? Let's explain. The first factor is complement-mediated lysis predominance. Neisseria adopts a unique approach to immune evasion, which stands out from the conventional bacterial strategy. What is the difference between the two strategies? Typically in the conventional strategy, bacteria aim to evade phagocytosis, a process where they are engulfed and digested by immune cells. However, Neisseria's strategy is to target evading complement-mediated lysis. This is a defense mechanism where the complement attacks bacteria by creating pores in their cell walls, resulting in the bacteria's destruction and lysis. Neisseria's strategy makes individuals with deficiencies in complement components more vulnerable to infections caused by this bacterium. The second factor is the special surface structures. That help Neisseria hide from the immune system. Neisseria has two key tricks to avoid being attacked. 1. Surface lipooligosaccharides that are modified with sialic acid to look like host cell structures and prevent complement activation. 2. Human factor, H-binding protein, inhibiting the complement cascade on the bacterial surface. This clever disguise is not only critical for Neisseria's survival in hosts with a fully functional complement system, but also becomes a vital survival tactic in the face of complement deficiencies. By exploring the dynamics of Neisseria's evasion strategies and our body's attempts to counteract them, we gain valuable insights into the complexities of our immune system. This knowledge not only depends our understanding, but also points us toward better treatments and preventive measures for those vulnerable to such infections. Remember, knowledge is power. Continue exploring how your body works and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful videos here on InfectionTube. Stay curious and healthy.